don't even know where to begin, man. Salute to the Battle Rap community, man. Welcome back to Crosswords. We got a Battle Rap Weekend review on deck. Did y'all see? Oh, my goodness. The disrespect. I don't even want to call this disrespect. But did y'all see bad news blasting Dot Mob on social media this morning? Oh, man. Oh, man. This is where we're going to start off first. Let's talk about the homie bad news. Now, I woke up, I jumped on social media, and, you know, Dot Mob has been a heavy conversation uh, between Calico. They also got the addition of LL Cool G. And Dot Mob has been just... It's Snake Eyes been doing this thing, so they've been in the, the mix of a lot this week, last couple weeks. One name that we haven't really heard much of was Bad News, who was apparently part of Dot Mob. So I'm on social media this morning, and I see a tweet from Bad News, and he said, let's keep it 100. When I was with the mob, Rex wasn't active, and Snake was barely talked about. Oh, well, shit. He's still barely being talked about, but that's besides the point. I gave you niggas life. Whoa. So Big Cannon chimes in. And it amazes me as well how bad of rappers, how y'all grammar be so off. But I'm assuming Big Cannon is saying he's surprised that this opinion is coming from bad news. He's low-key disappointed, but you low-key trash. And if you ever want smoke, I'll kill you. And you know that. So Big Cannon was on one. Bad news come right back at it. If it ain't Sherman Clump, last couple interviews when they asked Rec who's the Dot Mob members who was holding it down, he never mentioned you. Only thing you killing is that Popeye's sandwich, fat boy. Whoa. So we had some back and forth between Bad News and Big Cannon. But I honestly didn't know that Bad News was not part of Dot Mob anymore. But when I go back to interviews, especially the one from Hip Hop Is Real and Rex recently, when he named the roster, Bad News name didn't come up. So I was bugging this morning like, yo, here we go. It's about to start off. And you know, I'm not really gonna blame the brother bad news for being vocal about this situation but some things confuse me a little bit like holding dot mob down like I, and, and 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 i also not gonna blame it because i do feel i believe in my heart that he if they needed to he would have done his best to do what he had to do to hold down dot mob or any click he with if given the opportunity but Hold down the dot mob? Really? First of all, it wasn't even that long. So let me get this straight. Did you hold down the dot mob like Tay Rock maybe? No? Okay. Maybe you held the dot mob down like uh, Rex and K Shine? I don't know what he's talking about, but you need to be drug tested, bad news. Like, I mean, I, you haven't even got the opportunities to be holding down Dot Mob. And they, Tay Rock just left maybe a, two years ago. Like, it, it, like, stop it. Like, stop it. You know, I respect your grind. I respect your handle. I really don't know where all this is coming from. But he kind of went off on Dot Mob today. I was like, whoa, where this coming from? But I remember he was a member uh, of Dot Mob, but apparently he left. But he kept it quiet when he left, so why speak now? It's, it's kind of like you, I don't want to say clout chasing, but what's the reason of you speaking on this now? Because we know Dot Mob's name is more relevant than ever. So I'm a little bit surprised. What y'all think about that, man? Y'all got to let me know what y'all think about... Bad news. Was he even a good mix to be in Dot Mob? Because I don't think he really had major impact for the Dot Mob brand. And I don't think the Dot Mob brand did that much for his career. So, you know, what's. I don't know what the fuss is about. URL, RBE. Gotta talk about that. That has definitely been a hot topic. We got Genesis. URL dropped their event. 
going down the same day as RBE's event. We know the get back was going down on the 29th of February. URL dropped a free event for app users on the 29th, featuring Geechee Gotti in New Jersey Twitter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yo, this is fucking crazy. It's had the battle rap community in an uproar all week. Like, look at a couple of these battles. Of course, you know, RBE got back 40 cal. And Adi Boom was coming back. A War was going to be on RBE for the first time. We got Sharef and, uh, Chef Trez and Sharon. You know, that was going to be a good battle. JC and Oops. But look what the URL did, man. K Shine and Charlie Clips, John John and Chess Arsenal, T Top, Rum Nitty and Jerry West. And it's more to come. Now, this is not the first time that we done had events like this on the same day. So. I really wouldn't make it a big deal. Of course, the battle rap community always got to dig more deep into things than what it is. But, you know, you got to find a way to support both. I don't see why not. You may be not be able to watch them both in real time. But if the URL event is free, and I believe I don't, I don't believe it's free to watch. I think it's free to attend. So... Maybe everybody won't be able to see it in real time. RBE, get the pay per view, or maybe at least get the VOD. Somehow, some way, I think that, you, especially by one event being free, you should be able to get it done. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big deal. I saw somebody on social media said next year for Black History, maybe the two leagues can do an event together to show some empowerment. Whatever that means. I don't never see that happen. And this is this is a competition. There is no love between URL, URL and RBE, man. Like, let's be clear on that. Like, this is a competition. You know what I'm saying? And this is business. But we got two cars going down on the same day. Both of them fire. So, you know, I hope they both get support. But the URL... You know, a lot of people feel like they hit them in the head this time because it's a free event. Then we got Twerk and Geechee. We've been talking about Twerk and Geechee for maybe two years now. We've been waiting to see that forever. So, some real slick moves going down with these league owners, man. I don't know, man. Maybe I got to pass up some drug testers to the guys upstairs. I don't know. <laughs> But the cards is fire, though. I'm not going to lie. Both of these cards is fire. Look, what card y'all think is better? Like, you know, looking at it, which one is better? February 29th, though. Got the Get Back, RBE. We got Genesis. Going to be bananas, but damn, same day shit. Part of the game. Part of the game. This week, speaking of Dot Mob. Calico. Let's talk about Calico for a minute because Calico had uh, made some news. This was pretty funny because Calico's, I, I, I know I kind of woke up with the same information or the same quote unquote breaking news that Calico was a part of Dot Mob. There was an interview that was released by Hip Hop Is Real. Shout out to Hip Hop Is Real. Um, they released the interview and Rex was saying that yeah, Calico is now a part of Dot Mob. And everybody was going crazy. Like, how could Calico join Dot Mob and he part of Lance or oh, he got Landslot? But I thought it was some type of partnership. You know, Calico uh put an end to that rumor immediately on social media saying that he wasn't Dot Mob. He forever you know, landslide, but you know, that was a big deal for about a day or two because, you know, Calico joining Dot Mob, I'm looking at it as expansion and I'm looking at it as Dot Mob and Landslide about to do some type of partnership. I didn't look at it like Calico was going to be under Rex or something like that, but obviously people got it wrong. I, you know, I don't know where Rex came up. Rex even said that Calico said it himself on social media. So, you know, I don't know. 
Like, Rex is a slick talker. Like, you know, this is my favorite guy. You're not going to lie, but Rex is a slick talker. <laughs> You know, I don't know really at times what I can believe when it comes from some of these cats, but, you know, Calico said no. He is not part of Dot Mob. Let's not get it confused. So, that's pretty decent. Also, New Jersey Twerk called out Swamp. It looked like we might get a New Jersey Twerk and Swamp situation going down uh, real soon. Now, I know New Jersey Twerk March the 7th Speaking of bad news, New Jersey Twerk is going to be battling uh, bad news at the Gardens of the Culture event, the Evasion. This is going to be a crazy event. I know y'all definitely seen some of the flyers floating around. But New Jersey Twerk and bad news was just announced to go down on this card. So that's going to be crazy. But Twerk and Swamp might be happening in as well. And then, of course, we got Swerp. Swerp. Of course, we got Twerk and Geechee Gotti going down at uh, URL Genesis at the end of this month. So it's been a pretty crazy week in battle rap. Not real out of pocket, but um, yeah, man, it's been kind of lit this week in battle rap. Just a couple reminders, couple battles to make sure that y'all lock into that drop this week. Of course, RX versus my verse dropped on King of the Dot. Chef Trez versus a Ward went down on the Connects channel. Check that out, Lady J versus Smurf. That dropped on RBE this week, as well as Bill Collector versus T Top was one of the biggest talked about battles that dropped on the URL app. So y'all make sure y'all check those battles out sometime uh, early this week before we get in heavy rotation with more. Um, pretty dope look. Shout out again to all the leagues out there dropping content. Uh, salute to the media of Battle Rap as well, man. Couple Battle Rap media outlets I want to go ahead and uh, spotlight. Rapmatic had a great week last week when it came to dropping content, man. I, they hit us with uh, 40 Cal Snake Eyes, Adi Boom interviews. So that was pretty dope. Shout out to Rapmatic, man. They let a lot of content out there. Also, big up to my guy over there at Top Tier Podcast. He had a busy week this week, man. He dropped an exclusive interview with Ill Will, KG the Poet, LL Cool G. Uh, he did a segment with Showtime SP from the Vita Fly Show. He had a couple of things drop, man, this week, man. I definitely salute to him. One of the more consistent media outlets in battle rap, man. He's definitely doing his thing. So, shout out to Rapmatic and Top Tier Podcast. Those were my two picks for Battle Rap Media of the week. They did their thing. But like I said, pretty solid week in Battle Rap. I don't know what y'all think about it. I know I probably missed a couple of things, but, you know, the URL versus RBE was really the biggest thing talked about, you know, this week in Battle Rap. But this is the weekly recap. Crosswords, T7M Radio, man. I'm Seven Mitchell. Salute again to the Battle Rap community, man. I'm about to get up out of here. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know I'll be back at y'all every weekend with a weekly cap and review. Also, join the culture. T7L Radio, man. We got the morning Battle Rap radio show for y'all. Exclusively every morning, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. iTunes, Spotify, as well as YouTube. We premiere the podcast every morning. So when you guys are at work, on your way to work, on your way to school, or just at home at the gym, you already know the vibes, man. Rock out with your boy here on the culture at T7M Radio, man. Salute to the Battle Rap community. Y'all stay safe. What a week in Battle Rap, man. Woo. I'm out of here, though. Y'all be good. Peace.